anxious and, and uh, it's been a great preseason from the standpoint that uh, they spent a lot of time with uh, with Fletch in the weight room and conditioning and it, and it all comes to this culmination uh, the first day of practice now I hope we can bottle a little of that energy and enthusiasm and maybe bring it out uh, in January or February if needed but uh, but uh, Fletch did an unbelievable job getting these guys in a, in a good place and, and uh, uh, we have two hours a week with them we've got some basic things in uh, that we've started uh, so today tomorrow early in the early in the week we don't have to spend as much time teaching we can just jump into them uh, and that's what the emphasis will be today and and start putting pieces to, uh, you know, of the puzzle together. And, and you know, there's still some uh, figuring out to do. Uh, still learning uh, different parts of the team. DeMonte, uh, you know, coming back and being a part of what we're doing. Uh, he's still not 100%, but he's, he's close. And, and he, he was very impressive last week. And, and uh, uh, we'll be without Laurent a few days. Uh, he's not doing live stuff, doing dummy stuff with us. Uh, coming off his elbow surgery, so uh, gives other guys opportunities to get a lot of reps. But uh, we're still trying to uh, uh, figure some things out. But uh, that's what practice is for. We've got 42 days from the first game and 30 practices to, to get uh, everybody dialed in, and, and, and we'll do that. When I talked to Kipper the other day, he said you're going to see a treadmill over in the corner of the gym, and I see a treadmill over in the corner of the gym. What's the purpose of the treadmill? It's, you know what it is. It's 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 a it's a teaching tool, uh, and I, I I refer to it as that. It's no more than that. You know, we it, it's a friendly reminder sometimes that uh, uh, we emphasize rebounding or whatever our emphasis is of the day, um, and and it's, it's we just send guys over and, and they get a quick little sprint and then they're back in practice and uh, uh, it's probably added ten years to my coaching life. That way I don't have to scream and argue with guys we just go to treadmill and we just we just say treadmill and and it keeps Fletch busy during practice. Fred, um, when you saw Lamont named in that report the other day, just what was your reaction to you? Well, I, I issued a statement uh, earlier in the week about that and there's there's uh, nothing more I'm going to say at this time about that and uh, you know, we're uh, we're here to start practice and move on, and, and that's, uh, I think my statement's set. In the bigger picture, maybe you can speak to this, just, you know, what are your, what are your thoughts on maybe how this will change college basketball, um, the reality of it maybe, and also just perception-wise? Well, I think your guess is probably as good as mine. I, you know, I think there's, uh, uh, I, I think some things that, that, that happened, happened, and, 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 and surprised people, but uh, I don't know, I don't know. I think there's, there's uh, uh, things come to light that maybe surprised everybody. There's some coaches who said this is kind of a good day for college basketball, they'll rain in some of this stuff. Do you feel that way, or do you? Uh, I think we've got the greatest sport in college basketball. I think we're part of one of the greatest events in all of sporting events in the NCAA tournament. Uh, you know, I think that there's there's uh, problems or, or perceived problems in a lot of different sports or whatever we are. There's, but I, I still think we've got the greatest sport going and, and maybe there's a, a speed bump along the way and changes need to occur, but this is... Uh, uh, this is one of those moments where basketball is really strong and uh, these athletes out here are, are showing up uh, not just at our university but every university and they're working their tail off to, uh, uh, to have a great season and, and I think that's that's what the focus uh, in this gym is on and, and uh, you know, we'll see where, uh, where the rest of it goes. What are things that you can do? assistant coaches that were named? Do you feel like head coaches have to do something different? A different approach. No, like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna comment on get into what everybody else as a head coach does, but uh, you know, there's 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 um, there'll be there'll be a time 
to, to, to maybe talk about those things today is about these guys. What are the things that you can do today that you haven't been able to do in the last month because it's not official practice? A lot. Well, I think one of the biggest things is you can start putting things together because you know we've we've never gone over an hour. So now you can start putting putting concepts together back to back to back because you have time to do that. Uh, you can intermingle uh, a little more uh, detail. Uh, we haven't done as much teaching. I'm a whole part whole teacher. So I show them the whole. We've done a lot of that. Then we've shown them the basic ways we're going to teach it once we get into practice and we'll get back to the whole at the end. And that's something that uh, through segments of practice and the structure of our practice that, that we can get to where as in an hour uh, workout you can't do that. So, uh, you just basically show them and, 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 and then you try to keep it upbeat uh, to keep some repetition. And that's another thing that will be a big change for these guys. You know, we'll go three hours today. Uh, just the tempo and the pace of, of practice will be, and the length of it will be, will be much different. At what point between now and the middle of March do you think the team will have your full system implemented and understood? Uh, 2019. Okay. No, I, I can't say. Everybody's different, and, and they're becoming more familiar with, with the concepts offensively. Uh, defensively, they have a foundation. Uh, you know, the, the previous staff had done some things to, that conceptually were, were, were sound. Uh, so now getting them to be much more aggressive is my challenge. Uh, we play too conservative uh, on both of these boards, and we've done that through preseason. Uh, we're working hard to get them to be more aggressive, and, and uh, uh, that, that'll come. I don't know what rebuild means. I, I don't. I, 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 if I go out here with the mindset to tell these guys that we're rebuilding, they're not going to give me their best. We're going out here to compete every day. Uh, I walk on the court every single day with the idea of Southern is our first game and we're trying to figure out how to beat them. And the next game after that, and get better every day. And it's a slogan we have. We have the, the, the saying, everyday guys, we want to get better every single day. And that's what I'm going to challenge them with here at the starter practice. Uh, and it'll be the same thing every day. Let's, let's, let's become our best. So uh, I've said all along, I think this could be an NCAA tournament. Uh, we're not going into that with, with any different mindset. And, and literally, when you get in that tournament, anything can happen. And so uh, rebuild's not something. I'm sorry. Rebuild something I'm not buying into. What, what have you learned from Mark Smith about Mark Smith this summer? I got to be really careful when I talk about Mark. Um, and uh, I, I've said this, and I'll say this. Uh, I've said this privately, and I'll now I'll say it publicly. In my 30 years as a college basketball coach, from the day that young man arrived on campus to this day right now, I've never seen a young man improve more than he has. We all know that he was Mr. Basketball in the state. Um, he's got big shoulders. He's, I think he can handle that. And he wants that pressure. He wants that uh, expectation, so to speak, put on him. And I'm not a big expectation. Yet. I think concentrating on one sport. I think uh, having uh, the opportunity to be in the gym every single day. I think finding out that uh, he can't eat french fries. Uh, I think finding out what uh, the weight room is. Uh, he never really truly lifted like he's lifted now. Look at his body, he's in incredible shape. Uh, it's opened up his hips more. Where he, he's just made so many improvements. Now he's got to learn the game right? and learn it at the college level. And, and I think once that he's got a great grasp of that, does he seem more exactly. like a one or a two right now? You don't do ones in two. He but. really seems like a really good player <laughs> um, that that can play either. And, uh, you know, I think his ability, he's got to grow. He's got to learn to play uh, in ball screens more, understanding that it's not a 6'4 high school center that's hedging or, or helping, that it's going to be a 6'9 or 6'10 potential athlete, shot blocker that he's got to uh, – uh, learn to make those reads, learn where, uh, you know, how teams scout him. That'll be drastically different than what he's seen at the high school level. Uh, 
that's the mental part, and, 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 and he spends a ton of time in film. He lives and dies uh, basketball, and his commitment level has been really what's impressed me the most. Greg, crunch time and recruiting, just where are you guys at and how important are these upcoming leagues? I feel great. I like where we're at. I, I, I've got a, a staff that's done an incredible job, positioned us uh, in, a, in, a, in a great place. It's, uh, uh, you know, we've got guys that are on visits and, and doing things, and I think that's, uh, uh, voice makes the coach a little antsy, but uh, uh, we've got, uh, We've got, we've got a great university to sell. Uh, we've got a great facility here, a great facility across the street, and a, and a program that's uh, uh, that's on the uptick. And I, I think that's 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 been appealing to, uh, to a lot of these guys. Apart from your official visitor, who are all the people here that you've invited to see practice today? A lot of high school coaches coming in. Uh, my practices, I. I so I think it's one of the great things that we we do is and have the ability to do as coaches is is share our uh, ideas and thoughts with, with other coaches and learn the game. We've got a good group here, and and then uh, uh, obviously it's a big day at the university with the Hall of Fame. Uh, we've got a couple in, in, in uh, basketball guys, obviously that are uh, done incredible things, not just here at the university, but uh, in the basketball world. Uh, Manny has uh, obviously went into the Naismith Hall of Fame. We were there a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Jerry Colangelo obviously is, is, is probably the most important and powerful person in USA basketball. And, and uh, uh, to, to have them around and here is and part of the Illini family is, is very special. So we've got a lot of great visitors today, and, and uh, that's fun. And, and it, it gives our guys a great opportunity to uh, uh, to, to practice and, and, and enjoy the moment. While you were answering that question, Matisse was not missing any mid-range jumpers just over your shoulder. Can you talk about what he brings to the team? Just that. Matisse is, Matisse is good. Uh, he, he, I think he's had to acclimate to American food, <laughs> uh, being in the United States, to Fletch. I don't know what he and Fletch's relationship is at that point. It may be... Uh, you know, a little rocky at times, but he's 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 grown. He's done it. He's done a great job. And, uh, he's very skilled, and you know, for him, it's it's just a matter of uh, of getting acclimated, like it is for any of the freshmen. Do you feel like you're able to get him and Mark and all start uh, more up to speed since they didn't get here for long? Yeah, that's helped. I mean, the, we're, we're we've had to speed that process up. Spend extra time, you know, just in terms of, of communicating with them. But again, we've kept it pretty basic uh, with all of our guys, so it's not that they're real far behind in, in anything that we we did. Um, Kipper talked about wrap up and speed and all that. So what kind of growth have you seen from not only him but just the team from where they started till today as far as speed and conditioning? We've had great buy-in from our veterans, and that's that's been uh, that's been so pleasant for me. Is when you get uh, uh, both feet in. Uh, from the veterans, and, and they're excited about the way we're playing. It's a change for them, sure, uh, but uh, uh, it's been positive and something they're they're very excited about. And, and uh, we're uh, looking forward to getting all of them acclimated to, to, to everything we do. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you.